Fidesz MEP Josef Shire has admitted to violating COVID-19 restrictions by attending what Belgian media is calling a sex party. Police were called to an apartment on Friday night in Brussels after getting a report of potential breaches of coronavirus restrictions. They found 25 people there, mostly men. Shire tried to escape along a roof gutter when police detained him. He, along with two others, invoked diplomatic immunity. The politician, who was a senior member of the ruling Hungarian Fidesz party, resigned on Sunday. Let's cross straight over to Jack Parrock, who's standing by for us in Brussels. Jack, a hugely salacious story, but let's just start off with the facts. What is it exactly that Shire and the Brussels prosecutor have said? Good evening, Oliver. Indeed, it has been a breakneck speed paced day of news coming out on this story today. I think the easiest way to do it is to start at the most recent and then we'll work back. So the most recent information we've had is a statement from the Brussels police who have obviously, obviously been inundated with news where they confirmed that they had uh, 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 um, contained and, and found Mr. Shire. They only quote his initials, but we know from his statement that he's confirmed it's him, that he had an ecstasy pill on them, he said, and that now they're waiting for the European Parliament to waive his immunity in order to continue prosecutions. We also know from that statement that two other people who attended that event in central Brussels on Friday night invoked diplomatic immunity. So lots of people are now starting to question who those people were. Now, earlier in the afternoon, Mr. Shire himself released a statement to say that he was at the party, that he apologises to his family, to voters, to colleagues uh, for be attending this party which broke COVID-19 rules. He says that he did indeed have an ecstasy pill on him, but that he was not aware of it and that he believed that it was planted, that it was not his. On sun, the, the story broke this morning. Belgian media started reporting that an MEP had attended such a party. On Sunday, he had, Mr. Sayar had quit his position after 30 years sitting uh, as a politician and it quit his position in the European Parliament. This event, the, the party that we're talking about, took place on Friday night, Oliver. Josef Shire is a close ally of the Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban, a man who is known for his very conservative views. So this whole episode must be putting Shire in a very difficult political situation. It's putting the whole of the Hungarian political institution, the, the, the ruling party, the Fidesz party, in a difficult position, Oliver. He was a founding member of it. And as you know, that party espouses and pushes an extremely conservative agenda in Hungary and presses it here in Brussels as well. In fact, Mr. Sayar was part of a, a group, of that, that ruling party, that wrote into the constitution that marriage is between a man and a woman, not uh, part of, not between two men, a sort of anti-LGBT uh, agenda that they were pressing there. So this is something that is going to be a very sticky for the Hungarian government. We understand that official media agencies in Hungary, uh, Hungary haven't quite been reporting this story as yet, the question is, what will happen to him? Will the European Parliament release his immunity? And also, because we don't know who those two other people are uh, within that police document, will it breach out into other connections of his? Will there be other uh, senior politicians here in Brussels who get embroiled in this scandal? Yes, exactly, Jack, because with those other two diplomats so far unknown. It does seem like the story still has some go in it. What can we expect to happen next? Well, next we will expect to see whether they release statements, those two people, if they feel that they themselves are going to be exposed in it. And ne the next thing will be that the Belgian prosecutor will hope or, or will wait for uh, diplomatic immunity to be lifted from Mr. Shire and then may begin to prosecute him on a drug charge.